assist me in pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank everybody for coming. I won't go around the room with any questions. Right? All I'm going to do is I submitted that uh, grant application for the generator for the building. Um, it won't go in effect if we get it until February. Uh, we will have to pay the difference on that um, estimate. The state will give us twenty thousand of that cost. So I think we have. I think the generator was forty-six thousand. So for the trust. I think it was 46000 with everything. So we'll have to come up with the uh, difference upon their approval of that. When I talked to the lady down there in Columbus, she didn't think there was going to be any issue because we house the fire department and the election's done here and that. <clears throat> Plus it's easier for them to track one piece of equipment than trying to pay it out into several different like overtime and stuff. And that's that for me. Good to see you back on your feet. I'm glad to be back on my feet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, kind of here double duty today uh, with the fire department and uh, a personal thing. Um, my name's Dave Hardesty. My wife owns Rhonda's Doggy Parlor, which is a grooming parlor. Um, we would like to thank the Board of Trustees for the permission to use the fire department for our event um, that Bruce Witcher had talked to you about in the last couple of days. Um, what started out as a small advertising event for her business has turned into a fundraising and pet food drive for the nine kill facilities in Columbiana County. Um, again, I appreciate the use of the fire station for this on December 14th. Um, we're going to have a group here from what's called Stark FDRU. Uh, they're a fire department rehab unit, but they do an annual drive for raising pet food supplies, money, whatever, for non kill facilities. Everything they're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, everything they get the day of our event here at the fire station will stay in Columbiana County. Um, we're going to have Alchemy Acres is going to be here with a table. There is another non-kill facility that my wife works with weekly of either grooming their pets that are getting ready to be adopted or trying to get the word out of adopting pets versus buying pets that will be here with a table at the same time. Um, we're sponsoring Santa Claus. It's going to be, we're hoping to make this a yearly community event where families can come get their pictures taken with Santa Claus, uh, the four-legged family members along with the kids, and again, our, our thanks to the Board of Trustees for allowing us to hold this at the fire station. Well, I thought, I didn't know anything about the, about the, 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 the animal part of it. I wasn't advised that that was going to happen. He called me about the uh, use of it for uh, Santa Claus. Okay, then Chief didn't fill you in on completely. That's the first I've heard this. Yeah, we, yeah. Just, we just got the okay back from our insurance company. Right, uh, Chief, Chief called me yesterday and advised me of that, and I had explained completely what was going on because again it's going to be a pet food drive at the same time to support our non-kill facilities in the count in our area so what they do is they, they call it fill a truck for pets and they again they get dog supplies food um, last year they raised over two tons of food just for Stark County alone so they're they're actually branching out because they are willing to come to Columbiana County to help us on any major incidents to where the fire departments need, the fire fighters need rehab coming out of burning buildings or a chemical spill or whatever the case may be. Um, 
So. Is there also a Santa Claus? Yes. Yes. Santa Claus thing yes. Uh, my wife and I are paying for Santa Claus to be here. Um, he's going to be here from two to six that day. It's completely open to the public. We're we're take, picking up the expenditure, the pictures. Um, we're going to have pictures taken with Santa Claus, with the kids, families, whatever the case may be. Um, we're picking up that expenditure, the expenditure of Santa Claus. We just needed a little bit more room to put on the event. And that's when I talked to Chief Witcher about possibly using the fire department. And when he talked to Mr. Mix. Yeah, he called me, but there was nothing at all said about anything about the animals thing brought into this. So. Okay. Uh, I guess it's up to the trustees as to what they want to do. Well, I guess I wonder if uh, we need to check with Andy Beach to see what our situation is because uh, we already called the insurance company. Well, but we didn't know about the pets. I don't. I don't know whether that would change anything. I mean, we have plenty of volunteers set up for the day uh, between volunteers from Alchemy, a, from the fire department, in our own group, uh, my wife's assistants that help her with the grooming. So there's, I mean, we do have plenty of volunteer people today. It's going to be keeping their eyes open, uh, trying to get people moved in, moved out. You got to groom dogs? No, 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 no. It's just all pictures, all... Um, what, what's the grooming part? She's... That's she, she works for. She works for. Yeah. That's her business. That's her business, yeah. And she's the one sponsoring the event. They're not grooming any pets there. They're just going to... No, no, it's, no, it's it, just it, all it, pictures. I don't know whether we're... Are people bringing in their dogs to have pictures taken with them? That was the initial plan of the four-legged family members, dogs, and then obviously kids. You know, I think uh, think maybe we're Don's right. I think maybe we're going to have to call just, Chuck just to, to see if we're uh, okay. If we're allowed to I, no, do this because Bruce yeah. never brought that up to me one, not one bit. Santa. He was going to have uh, cookies and 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 pot and. Pictures with kids. Pictures with the kids. Yeah, and I an open house for the fire department, basically. Yeah, and I contacted Bruce yesterday <clears throat> after I talked to Susan and, and told him that, that we were going to sponsor that and we didn't have a problem with it. But there again, with the pets coming in, I, I just wonder if we need to... I just want we just want to make sure that the township's not going to be liable. For right. Anything. No, no, no. I understand. Just in I case a dog bites somebody or something. Right. Yeah. No, I completely understand that. I guess I assume Bruce had told you everything. And not at all. Not at all. Because it, a lot of it is geared towards the nine kill facilities, trying to help them out and raise some funds and possibly food supplies for them, like Alchemy and this private um, group that my wife works with. So. Well, I think I think we got a somewhat of a problem. I think we're going to have to get some uh, legal advice on that because uh, I uh, we contacted our insurance company about having Santa Claus and uh, our liabilities and stuff with giving out candy or gifts or pop or cookies and stuff. And, okay. And we are insured for that, but I'm not too sure what this is going to be. If need be, we can pull the part of pets being here, if that if it comes down to that, and just gear it towards the kids, but also, you know, collect you can collect food for food and everything for, for the dogs. That's fine. But if we if if need be, if it's if it's going to cause a problem, we can. That's that's my concern is is uh, having the because uh, we could do we could do the pets at our place w without a problem. Just gear it towards the the kids up here and the the food drive and the collections for the facilities, and then do the pets another way. If the food drives for the pets. 
What's that? The food drive is for the pets, correct? For Alchemy Acres and the private uh, nine killed it. My wife does it on a daily basis. I don't have any objection to it. I mean, well, I think I think we're going to have to find, we have to, uh, we have to find out from Andy. We have to find out right. for, from the Andy and the insurance company. Again, if need be, we we will we will make it where the animals aren't here if if it comes down to that. Okay. Well, we got the okay from for one thing that I thought we were going to have and had no idea that that's what it was about. Okay. Absolutely none. We'll have to check and find out and get back to you. Not a problem, sir. Um, you can get back to Bruce, and he'll keep in contact with me on it. Okay. Okay. Or if you want, give us your phone number. I can do that before I leave. <clears throat> okay. Under new business, there's a slight increase in our Guardian Dental over, over last year. I need a motion to accept it. So moved. Second. Any other new business to discuss? Got one permit so far in November. Okay. Under old business, the prosecutor's office has advised a section of the ORC permitting us to limit or eliminate solicitors in the township. Uh, it was brought to our attention that we had some out on Beechwood, I think it was. And, uh, I guess they got a little combative or nasty with the, with the person, and I don't know what it was all about. But do we want to draw up a resolution to the effect of uh, eliminating or limiting? I think they should have to get some type of a permit or something when they come in. Uh, that we know that they're here, that they're they're a legitimate uh, business. Cliff, can we ban them? Yes. That's going to be my motion. Even though we give them guys permits, we don't know who we're getting in here. And nine times out of ten, we've dealt with their guys from halfway across the country that are wanted or something. Um, I personally just soon just say no. That's just my opinion. Okay. There's a lot of them are for. Out of town. Right. There's nobody local and, you know. That's what these guys were here. At the right. This kid up on the north end was wanted out of Illinois or somewhere out there, but they wouldn't come and get them. So, you know, we either watch them the whole time they're here to make sure nothing goes wrong. But I just personally just not allow it. And I'm sure we'll get flack over that. Well, I don't know that we can get much flack over it. We can just... Uh, well, eliminate my, completely. My concern is going to be the religious, like Joe Wittes and that. Are they going to fall under that banning from soliciting door yeah, to door? That's soliciting. Yeah. Okay, I would then. I'd ask Andy to look that one real hard because I know there's been issues in other cities and that with them, you know, their freedom of religion and that. But personally, I'd say all that solicitation needs to stay out of Perry Township. Well, we can, Andy would have to write the resolution for yeah. us, so I suppose we could ask him the proper way to do that for freedom of religion or whatever you might say. And I know the city charges them a fee, I guess, for their permit to go soliciting. So how that works there in the city? They have, they have some type of a permit to yeah, have. But I they, uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a fee involved or okay. not, but I'm not positive. Well, they have an ordinance, and we can't do an ordinance. We have to do a resolution. Okay, so you want to call Andy and see what he mm -hmm. has, uh, what he suggests that we do with this? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Leaf pickup in the township starts November 4th on the north side for two weeks, shifts to the south side for two weeks. These must be bagged and all the other kind of stuff pertaining to that. Any other old business? Approval of the minutes and the financial statements. So moved. Second. Fiscal officer's announcements. Signing checks for 39 dollars and their legal updates in their packets. Okay. 
Trustee comments? Mr. Rudabaugh? I have none other than to thank the voters for my re-election. Mr. Kendry? I'd like to also thank the uh, voters for uh, having the confidence in me to uh, elect me again. And I feel the same and welcome you both back. Thank you. Nothing more to come before this meeting. We're adjourned.